guys, Singomon here with Moon and Girl. Last time we. Shit. <laughs> we did stuff, obviously, that I don't remember. Uh, this time we're gonna be progressing on. I think. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember now. We were doing the ninja contest. We're... We got to a ninja village and we, um. Akari's entering and she's doing an obstacle course. Obviously, we know the outcome of this, because why wouldn't they do that? Anyway, this time we're going to be carrying on. This time we're going to be carrying on and seeing just what happens. I can give you a straight answer, but with you looking at me like that, I don't think it's a good idea. Okay, so... Uh, this is obviously Akari's answer. Um, I'm pretty sure one or two is Akari's answer, so I'm just gonna see what this one is. Uh, okay, that's Akari's answer. Alright, let's try this again. Okay, that is the right answer for Andrew. I had a feeling that was going to be Andrew. That or the neutral answer, one of the two. Anyway, um... I am recording at the school right now because home is being violated by the roof. And what I mean by that is people are, are working at my house to fix my roof because it's old and it needs replacing and all the shingles are falling apart and moss and... All that hoo-ha, so there's no peace and quiet. I had two very unique dreams. One of them I wanted to see how it ended. I posted those on Facebook to see what people thought. Uh, one of my aunts commented saying it was a very strange dream. Um, let's see what else. I'm actually trying to think here. Um, my dad's also at home, so I can't record there because... If I go downstairs and walk around and report like I normally do, then I'd be disturbing him while he's working at home, or taking the day off one or two. Um, yeah, we, we obviously knew this was going to happen. Um, yeah, so I can't record downstairs. Upstairs I could probably do, but I don't feel like doing that because I don't know if they're going to be banging and making a lot of noise and ruining commentary and all that stuff, even though it's probably a good thing on your guys' part, because I do find this rather annoying, especially with the way I tend to ramble on and on and on and on and on and on. <sighs> um, other than that, uh, I don't really know. I mean, it was pretty obvious that she was going to win because why- I've said this before and I'll say it again. Why the hell would they intentionally enter you into a contest that you were going to lose? Obviously, it's a cliche. Good guy, main character gets the prize, blah blah blah. I'm trying to unwrap candy here. Good job, you're a real ninja now. Bag of rubbish. Open up so I can consume you. There you go. There we go. Ha 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 So orgasmic toffee. Oh my god. I'm just playing. It's not actually toffee. It's one of those soft hard candies. It's like... It has a hard outside, but a soft inside, and it's like, yeah, that's what I'm eating right now. Welcome. Congrats, Akari!
sure you can handle that, Enju? I was about to call her a car for a minute. Alright, glad to hear. I had a blast! It was fun, but now I'm hungry! Not to mention, we did skip lunch. Eh, oh well. I've always stopped by the cafe. Um, I know I can't wait any longer to eat. I am hungry! Not really, I've been nibbling on candy, but other than that, I don't really feel hunger. It's really weird. Because, like, um, the way that my body is set up, and I say that, like, digestive system wise, I don't feel hunger because my body eats off my body fat, which is actually unhealthy. And it's because of the diet that I have is why my body does this. And because of that, I can go like an entire day without eating anything or feeling hunger at all. I do eat, but that's just to store the body fat. Um... Um, shit, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. uh, I do eat, but that's just because I can, and I don't get overweight because high metabolism and all that, so young, blah, blah, blah. Um, a little bit of extra weight wouldn't be a bad idea, but it's more like a lean, skinny, fat kind of way. I mean, I've never had obesity problems. I've never had to worry about, like, being 300 pounds and sweating my ass off and all that stuff. Um, thank God. So if I did, I would have been picked on a lot more in school. <laughs> but, I mean, I mean, if I was like 200, if I was like 180 pounds with the way I look now, I wouldn't be dissatisfied with my body. And I say it because, you know, I've always been skinny my entire life. Like, I was the skinniest kid in class throughout all of elementary school, all of middle school, and in high school, that was when I started to actually gain weight because puberty, growth spurts, hormones, all that stuff. Actually, you know, I started getting taller in about seventh grade, which was... I remember my weight in seventh grade was 63 pounds. I remember that because I had these pants that I would wear. I was, they were one of my favorite pairs of pants I had growing up. And I loved wearing them. And they were... I think size 28? No, not 28. I think they were 30. They were 30 waist. Which is about average for me. I mean, the pants I'm wearing are more than likely 30 now, or 31, 32, somewhere around there. The point is, I was very anorexic as a kid. I really was. And let me check out my jacket. It's starting to get a little hot. All right, much better. Um. I was very anorexic as a kid because, like, I was so skinny when I was living in England. When I was like a like a like elementary school, like beginning elementary school child. When I was okay, let me rephrase that. When I was back in kindergarten, when I was four, when I was in kindergarten, when I was in first grade and second grade, I could literally. I was so skinny and flexible. I could put my foot up to my mouth and bite off my toenails. Like, I'm not exaggerating when I say that. I'm not. And when I was in middle school, I could actually, like, put... I was skinny enough... Oh, hi. <laughs> I was skinny enough, someone was looking at me in the window, I didn't even notice them. Um, I was skinny enough where I could put my face into my own crotch. Like, I could do that. And not like... Like, I could curve my back and lean in 
and have my face staring at my crotch, but it wasn't like, you know, complete. It wasn't in a complete bury your face into your crotch thing. And people did make fun of me for that because, well, I wasn't the smartest kid in school, obviously, but. <laughs> um, I've been rambling on a little bit. I mean, I, I've been on this rant about my body and my childhood and being skinny and all that shit. I haven't even been paying attention to the story. I've just been touching it and letting you guys get a chance to look at it before I hit the, um, thing. Excalibur! Excalibur! Roma, you're not the king. I'm looking for her. I'm going to California. Excalibur. Excalibur. I love Soul Eater. Such an interesting anime. It really is. Anyway. I couldn't help but doing that. I couldn't help but making that reference. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. You're doing all right there, bro. Hey, bro, what you been up to? Ten Pillars Ho! That is something I finished watching was, um, Z Sly, or Slyzer. Um, he's, he was uploading, um, I can't pronounce the name off the top of my head, nor know how it's spelled, so I couldn't help you. But basically, it's a Phoenix Wright game where you play as Phoenix's ancestor. That's the game I was watching him play. And I was, I was at the last chapter and I was thinking, you know, ten pillars, that's kind of convenient. I mean, it's confusing because they're both brothers and they're both on stand, so it's like, how am I supposed to know which one I'm supposed to be talking to? Like, when I say, Mr. Tintor, how are they supposed to know which one I actually mean? And one of them had a pear, and another one, ha and the other one had an apple. Now, there's supposed to be three of them total. So, with the third one, what fruit was he supposed to have? Now, my first instinct was banana because it was saying, you know, okay, fruit, pear, apple, banana, something like that. Um. But I was also thinking, what other fruit is actually round? Then I started thinking watermelon, grape, uh, grapefruit, orange, uh, tangerine. You know, something where you could bite into it like an apple. And out of all those things I just listed, none of them fit the bill. Let me tell you. But I'm just thinking, like, you know, what about the third tin? Alright, um... I should probably pay attention to this more because I'm just ranting over and over, jeez. So, just finished writing up the activity record. Glad to hear. Speaking of the club, where's the... where's Akari? You don't think something happened to her on her way to school, did you? Hey, Akari! I like you to cut it close. Okay. Come on. Never look this. The last time you were this down was when Anju turned you down for the Ninja Seeking Club in season one. Don't give me this. Oh, I'm fine when everything's not bullshit. <laughs> I thought someone was looking at me for a minute. <laughs> Come on. You know you can tell me. Will you just tell me so I can move on with my life already? Go on! Come again? Oh, that is a dick move right there. Coming attractions! Anyway, I always fast forward these because it paraphrases what has happened and what's going to happen. I never actually read these because... Alright, if you guys like this part, subscribe for more, and I will see you with the next episode of Mo Ninja Girl. See you guys then, and come on, signing off.